Hey, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose May, May, yeah, June 6, 2016 at 2.07 a.m. Birmingham. Topic, Trump will bring America back to its former glory. Part two. And I'm going to have another one after this. I got in a rush and I said a lot of things in the last one and, and uh, made an error. Probably made a bunch, but one, I mentioned Trump's name in place of Obama's once. I didn't mean to do that when I told Brad Thor that, look, you see a, a Trump trampling on the Constitution now. Well, of course, that meant to be Obama. And I, I know you probably caught that, but I apologize for that. Wanted to clarify it, get it out of the way, so let me move on. Um, there's a lot happening, guys. And number one, Trump's going to bring America back to its former glory. And he'll do it, as he said he would. And how will he get the Mexican authority or the Mexican government to build that wall? Well, it'll be easy. When you count the number of companies that have moved from here to Mexico, and then you use Bill Clinton's own screw-up, NAFTA, against him and assign higher tariffs or higher taxes and so forth and bringing what's built for America and made for America in Mexico, then they need to stamp Mexico and let Mexico pay for that shipping here and pay that extra. They don't do it now, but they will. And when they will and find out what it's going to cost them to do that or either to lose that that has gone over there, then they'll gladly choose to build a wall. So that'll get done. And there's a lot of things around the world. You're going to have Putin will truly, truly fear Trump. You will have ISIS. They're going to think twice about trying to come to America because if you think the gun owners have been depressed a little bit by Obama, number one, you're wrong. Number two, with Trump there, well, you need to think about it. Uh, people need to practice, you know, and if ISIS want to come on and start their BS here, then, hey, we got our practice right there. Um, there's a lot going on that's behind the scenes that's going to bring, number one, bring an immediate change to America when Trump is elected. And I say when, because it's going to be. And I don't mean beyond 2016. There's not going to be another four years. And, and I'll explain that in a minute. You have <clears throat> two men, Tom Horn, Chris Putnam, by hard work, by deductions, by going through and talking to a lot of people and reading books that were supposedly lost and finding information that had been accurately put down and every event had come true. And these stories are either year 800 or 1200, I don't recall, but they're old and they were, it's a prophecy of the popes. And um, everything so far has come to pass as they wrote it. And needless to say, they said the last pope would be in America when the end came. So Donald, Donald Trump, I'm sorry. Tom Hoare and Chris Putnam, Chris found something just before Horn did. But Horn said something about it before Chris did. So these guys, they think alike. Their minds in the same places. So they called the time when the Pope would quit a year in advance. But yet when they didn't hear from him that he did quit 
And then a year later, they went ahead and another pope come in because he did quit several months after. But after only after Francis come in did they say, well, we have something to tell you. The prior pope had actually quit, retired. I don't remember what year it was. I mean, it was what month. It was in 2012 in the very same month that these two men predicted it would be on. They were right on the right on the mark, almost to the day. They were the month and the year. Then people started calling and said, what is your insider? They simply said, a lot of hard work and a lot of belief in the system for people who love God tell people who later would want to find out things God said that's meant for us today, and they did just that. Um, Thor, again, I want to mention that you're over here jumping on Trump because he is going to go in and, and make changes. Look, Thor, suck that hot air back in. We don't need it. Because if you are saying this about Trump, what has Obama done? He has done just that. He's trampled on the Constitution and has even uh, attacked the Bill of Rights, everything that is here to protect Americans. He tried to dismantle. Well, it failed in his failed policies that are still in play will be reversed along with a lot of other things like Roe versus Wade will be reversed. We'll have prayer back into schools and you would not believe how the system will change in a short time, how your children suddenly become model children. And, um, and on top of that, there's some things that were said and there's a timeline involved with it, and it would only take a man like Donald Trump to make this become a reality. Let me get you to where I'm thinking right now. This country has to be at a place where we feel good. Every American needs to have a job and the jobs will be available. If you decide you want to go into business on your own, you can do it. You will have the banks that will help you do it. Unlike today, they'll laugh at you. And then the retirement that they're taking every day from those who put into it, that'll be restored. The money that's owed to this country by all these other countries, and I'm talking about trillions, will be paid back. We're going to have an influx of money that we won't know what to do with, but put those, play, those things back in place that were in place that we paid for, while at the same time getting us out of debt. And at the same time, while the establishment or pulling their hair out, but they have left. A lot of them have vacated, and a lot of them have left. But the establishment, if you guys don't see the writing on the wall, then you're in fear of losing your soul. That's going to happen. That means you're going to go to hell, because if you truly accepted Christ, then you wouldn't be out here robbing me and stealing me blind. That's what you're doing. You take a special insurance, you get a raise every year and a half. Actually, it's more than that. You've had a raise every year, but one year you had two raises, big raises. I don't mean little ones. And when you retire, you get your entire salary continue to come in beyond your retirement. Even if you spend one year, in fact, if you spend six months in office, doesn't matter what office it is, you'll get full benefits for the rest of your life and for your family. That's wrong. That will be taken away from you. That'll be moved. That'll be changed. And you will be taking on 
of health care that will be under, but ours will be greatly enhanced because this thing that Obama created will be burned and trashed. And we're going to have new people that's in positions that will make these changes and make them effective quickly, not dig around and listen to all this hogwash. All you channels, ABC, CBS, CNN, ESPN, yeah, ESPN said it too, MSNBC, all of them have attacked Obama. Yes, ESPN, because they're moving this this uh, thing from Mexico, or from, anyway, from a Mexico, Mexican TV station. And that's ESPN that's doing that. So you, you have so many variables there that's attacking Trump, but every one of them is building him up. And it's making people like me see who they're really attacking. A man that's best interest is in us. All right, now, I'm going to stop it because I got another subject that you got to hear. And the next one I talk about is going to bring this one into perspective. And you'll you'll understand this a lot better on the next blog, Jody Wolf Exposed.